What is going on, you lot? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and welcome to another league game. Yes, you've heard that correctly. Today we're going up against White End Time, but before we get into that, if you're not subscribed already, what on earth are you doing? Click that subscribe button and click that notification bell as well because you don't want to miss out on the Hashtag United upload. So, coming back to today, Hashtag United are going up against White Enzyme. We've played them earlier on in the season and we did lose that game, but we're at home today and this is where we're currently sitting in the league. Hashtag United are sitting in second place and White Enzyme are sitting in third. So yes, big game today. In fact, huge game. I think we shouldn't be having a bit of a crowd come as well. We're doing some giveaways today as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Ryan Adams, goals today? Hope so. No, no, I mean, yes. Well, yes. I, don't, I don't just need goals. If I can assist. Okay, well goals, then assist, then, then goals yeah, then. But obviously, I want to get on the score sheet, but yeah. at the end of the day, three points. That's all we want. So we want, baby, but I would like you on the score sheet or on assists, oh, cool, please. Mate. I've got to stay in front of Harry, you know. Yeah. Hello, mate. How's the baby, mate? Good, good. Um, Margo. As you can see by my eyes, I'm not up too, too late. Are you, are you losing sleep? Uh, do you know what? No, because I'm a deep sleeper. Okay, so 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 when morning. the crying's happening, you, you're just conked out, you yeah. just don't get so up. I was saying this morning, did you hear the baby last night? Up or like, no, like, not at all. Yeah, I don't know whether to lie and say, yeah, oh yeah, it was really bad, or just say no, but I did say no in the end, so it's just like, oh. Smart. My guy. Shriek, mate. What are you no, saying, mate? You, you, <laughs> you, you shriek, mate. Right, it's a, it's like a huge it. game, yeah, though, isn't it? That's what I mean. I'm trying to keep <laughs> my game face on right now, because at the end of the day, three points on oh, the yeah. oh, oh, Hold on. Oh, He's got new wheels. Oh, wow. The man, the man. Have they got new wheels, Woo! please? Yeah, I just wanted to be like, right. That's because Woo! he got That's because he got gang, gang. man of the match three times in a row. Gang, gang. Is that what happens when you get man of the match three times in a row? You get new wheels. How do they feel so far? Let's have a little close up. I'll tell you what, they are looking decent. Huge game today. Massive game. You ready for it? I'm ready. Am I, am I going to see you in the midfield? Probably pick up a yellow at some point. Yellow card and goal today, I reckon. I fancy you because you know you say you scored one a season. Yeah. You've had a few still sneaking up. I yeah. still fancy you for for definitely another one. So. Yeah, I'm doing one. I've had a couple long range. Yeah. Yeah, today. I reckon. Yeah. Do it for me. If you do, if you do, come over and celebrate with me. Yeah. All right. Is that Charlie Morley? Look at you. <laughs> you'd think you'd fit. How oh, are mate, you? Know? Definitely not fit. Three weeks out. Is that how long it's been just, so far? Just, yeah, three weeks today. I've just ran, ran there, and I'm blowing. It's not good. But it, this is all right. Getting there. I've missed you though, seriously. Yeah, I've missed myself, man. I've not been myself. Have you not? No, you, you just feel a bit lost, don't you, really, yeah. usually, when you're out like lost that? about the game. It's annoying, because I, I felt personally, you know, we've waited for this moment all season for you to start coming into the game, you know, fitness, you know, then playing into a, a role that you probably felt most comfortable in, to then get an injury probably at the exact time you felt your best. Yeah. I'm so unlucky. I, I haven't got anything to add to that. You've, you've <laughs> the icing on the cake. And it's terrible. Um, I could have been getting physio like elsewhere, obviously. I, ha I think I have got an appointment uh, from when I went to the doctors, but okay. you know, come here, see the boys, keep come involved. On. See me. I love it. I love this game. Chris Joe. Yes, mate. Yeah, would you reckon a hat trick today or just two? Um, well, I'm happy for anyone to score, but as long as we get three points. Obviously, I've taken on a hat trick. But three points, most importantly, today. Okay, because I, I don't want anything else than a hat trick from you today. Really yeah, pressure. pressure. If you do it, if you do, if you do it, I'll shake your hand right now. Buy your Nando's. Nando's, yeah. Buy your Nando's if you score a hat trick today, right, and you can get wherever you want as well. Right, for a platter, if you want a platter, mate, it'll happen. Done. Done. Okay, Jacko's there. We all know what time it is. I'm gonna see if I can set him off a bit. Okay, I don't think I set that. Oh, uh, I just didn't know if you wanted to use this ball for warm-up or not. But what's making you happy this week, Jacko? Oh, do you know what? Before, that would have given me the up, that would have. You kicking the ball at me without shouting, but... New year, new me. New leaf. I'm, I'm, do you know what? I'm a new man. What? I'm a new man, though, I'm telling you. What do you mean? You Grab can't... Me the bottle. Just grab a... They're busy. I'm a, listen, I'm a new man. Sorry. I'm, I'm a new man. I, no, but everyone knows you for being ja being this Jacko, like angry guy, you know. People get confused with like me being scary to being angry. I'm not really at the, the bottle. My bot, yeah, my bot. Jacko, they're warming up, mate. Leave them. Drink. Um, yeah, I, people think I'm angry. I'm not. Scary, maybe. But even that, I mean, that's a loose term. Listen, New Year, New Me. It was a, it was a, what was it Blue Monday this week? Just gone. It's, you know, we've just come off the. It's, it's the New Year, right? It's been Blue Maybe Monday, you know. Bottle. 
It's been Jacko seriously oh. leave them their training. And what I'm trying to say is, is that like it's, it, like you say, Blue Monday was around. This is probably the one That's time it. in the year where people are going to be angry. No, so you can't, now, and people know for you for being funny. I'm here to spread a message of love and peace. And give it a bow. And here we have the return of Sam Adams. How are we, Sam? I'm good, mate. Back supporting the boys, obviously. Um, picked up an injury recently with the Sunday League boys helping them out. Um, we will insert the clip when. Now. Done. Uh, but um, yeah, my right knee, normally it's my left knee that's a bad one. Now I've picked up a knock on my right knee. It's been a couple of weeks, I'm not running very well, but hopefully Stephen can help me out. Yeah. But, um, Everyone's actually going mental behind us right now. I don't actually know what's just happened. Circle, it? Yeah, who just, who, what, what just happened? Always at the root of it as well. Always add you at the root of it. Okay, so something's just happened there. Mikey. Have you just seen what's happened there? What happened? I didn't see it. Can I you? Kane got nutmeg again, mate. Was it by Lee Hurst? I believe so. I didn't actually catch it, but it was quite embarrassing. I mean, I heard it, but I, it sounds embarrassing already. Yeah, I think it was, mate. I think it was. I think I, I don't think he'll ever get over it to be honest with you. He's had him done for the rest of the season, I reckon. So, yeah. <laughs> Lee, I've just missed something. What's happened? What happened? Basically, Kane come tight and look at the feet. I just went like that and flipped it through. Got the nuts, which means he's got to be in the circle again. That's what I do, man. Dev's team new actually. Couple of changes today? No. What? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we same starting eleven as, as last time out against Frankfurt, uh, which is great because obviously we've got everyone available and the performance warranted that we didn't have to make any changes. Uh, the only change we've got to the squad actually is Matt Carter, who's injured. Um, and so on Cocoms. Is he? Yeah, okay, he's on right Cocoms. So he'll you know, be here, but um, yeah, he, you know, he picked up an injury against Frankfurt. Um, and Aaron Couch comes in onto the, into the squad. Um, yeah, Matt joins obviously Charlie, um, Theo on the kind of injury front. Um, other than that, we, yeah, we're, we're a full squad. So, same as. This is all going to be one take, regardless of whether or not you get it or not. Mm -hmm. You got one chance and one chance only, and we will keep doing this every week until you get it done. It's time for me to show everyone exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the pitch, it's, but the pre bit. <laughs> this is this is important. One take. Ken, Molly. Give this touch, give please? this man the ball, please, just for a few seconds. Thank, Thank you very much. You. We're gonna do this every week until he gets it. Crossbar right. from a specific area. You ready? Oh, what, pff, when the cushions are you ready, mate? No chance. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. Great. I like the crossbar. <laughs> okay, so Charlie's going to give it a go now. We haven't got too long. Come on. <laughs> Same starting eleven as last time out against Brentford, uh, which is unusual for us to be able to do that. But the performance and the fact that we've got everyone available, performance last time warrants it staying the same today. If we do our job, and the job we're capable of doing, then it just becomes another game, and bigger games are, are, are to come. Then having a fantastic season. It's really difficult to call how they will play it today because I've, I've seen them play a few times, but it's always been at home. And it's very, very different, very different conditions. There's a number of factors come into it. They probably feel like they only need to come here and get a point. That may affect how they start, where they set up. I'm told that they're a very different side away from home than they are at home. Obviously, and the surface out there and the, and the spaces is very different. What I do know we'll get from, from them is that they will work hard and they will chase everything. And they will defend for their lives and they will chase lost causes. And when they go from back to front quickly, they've got forwards that are prepared to just go and chase lost causes. So when that happens, we must be set and on guard against that defensively and ready for when it, when it goes, it will run our toes and we're not caught out by that. We cannot force things long centrally because they've got the big centre half who will go and head things all day long, but doesn't like being moved. So you've got to be mindful. Can you drag him around? Fullbacks are really you can really get at, particularly with our wide players and the pace we've got. So it's about staying patient with our width and exploiting those areas. When we're on the ball, can we work it into the wide area and get them going back towards their own goal? Remember what won us the last game. Remember what makes us successful. Don't forget that. And if our attitude's right, and we're bright and we work hard. You will win this game. You will win. You, uh, trust me. Trust me. You will win this game. Let's go. Let's go to work. Come on. Hi guys, Seb here on commentary duty today. Soon to be joined by our midfield 
man for the injured list, Mr. Matt Carter, will be up with us very, very shortly. He's actually getting some treatment from Stevie CB downstairs right now. But today is an absolutely massive game, and he's no further introduction. Hashtag United versus White Ensign, the top of the table clash. But it's not the absolute top anymore. Last night, Halted Town 2-0 victors over Harwich and Parkstone has put them top by one goal on goal difference. It will just mean a point of some kind today for Hashtag United, and we go back to the top spot. But anything other than a point, a loss, will mean we are third. Now, today marks the return leg of the 2-0 defeat we had from Hashtag United from the earlier in the season. White Ensign turned us over at their place. We need to make sure we get back on track. We don't want to lose to the, team, the same team twice. I'm not letting anyone have six points over us today. This is an absolutely massive game, potentially one of our biggest in our history. Now, White Ensign, a team with a lot of history themselves, founded in 1951, so they're a real established outfit and they're an established team in this league as well. Let me talk you through the team news. So, Hashtag United line up as follows. In goal, Jamie Jacko Jackson. A back four of Simon Peddy, Farais Ngano, Jack Harrison and Tom Williams. Centre midfield partnership continuing of Ross Gleed and Ricky Evans with new signing Albie Keith ahead of him just behind the striker. On the wings, we have Ryan Adams and Harry Honesty with Neil Richo Richmond. Mr. 16 goals this season thus far. Hashtag top scorer leading the line up top. On the bench, the means we have Kane Brougham, Aaron Couch, Lee Hursett, Tash and Richmond, and the enigma, Daniel Adji. We've got White Ensign's number 10, Luke Skinner, is going to be kicking us off here in a second. The referee just looks at his watch. Hashtag look ready. A few extra words of encouragement from Jamie Jackson, and we are underway. We're underway. White Ensign have kicked us off, and they've got the ball with number 8, Jake McGuee, who has pushed it forward. Simon Petty is going to look to win that one back for us and does the sensible thing of just getting the ball out of play and letting us reassess ourselves. I think it's, uh, I think it's definitely important we, of course, get a good start here, but I think we need to, to make sure we're solid at the back for the first sort of 10 to 15 minutes of the game, make sure we don't give them anything, um, and then hopefully we can build from there. We've got a good free kick here, a good opportunity to get in the box. Absolutely. It's going to be a long game today. It's going to be a tight one. You've predicted a nice, comfortable scoreline for us. I, I hope you're right. I possibly think it could be a little bit tighter than that, but um, I'd be delighted to be proved wrong. Jack's done very yeah, well in goals this year. Yeah. He's out. The ball comes in, flicks on. Oh, my goodness. How close was that? I I there may have been an offside yeah. flag there or not. I'm not too I'm sure. Not, I'm not sure if anyone actually touched that or not. That was a great ball, just like we said from Tom Williams. Whipped it in. I think it was Richo got it on the end yeah, of it. Was I'm it not, just I'm picked not, it I'm not too sure if anyone actually got a touch on that or not. Got to 18. Um... I got off on my first professional contract there um, and then you know, I had the option to, to move away if I needed to, um, if I had a better chance to get another contract. So I took, took the chance and, and went to Charlton for two years. Just then we've had a little bit of a tussling down on the right flank for Ensign. Tom Williams involved in a, in a challenge that the referee has decided is going to be a free kick. It's going to be whipped in by Brad Gates for White Ensign in a reasonably threatening position. As we see Brad Gates standing over the ball, yeah. ponytail flapping in the wind. We look to whip this one in. The Definitely boys need will to look defend to this, this well, out. boys. We certainly do. The whip ball in. It's right over Jacko's oh. head. It moved in the wind there. And Ricky Evans has now cleared it to the edge of the box. Yeah, and that well, is a yeah, yeah. We'll high, that. wide and handsome effort. We'll take, from shots from that. we'll take shots from that distance all day long. So, guys, I am going to be clocking onto Periscope now on Twitter. And I'll be keeping an eye out for the stream. So, if you are in the stream, drop us a little comment. I'll try and maybe read some out as we load this up. Oh. Oh, there's a free kick given there. There's been a foul. Jack has gone down with genuine concern for it's his man quite here. Quite a high foot there from Jack. A high yeah, foot. Possibly we could see the referee delve into his pocket here. I think it would have been the amount of time he's taken to get it out. He's gone into his other pocket. Yeah. It is going to be a yellow card. Okay, I mean, so yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate he's got booked at this early stage, but um, yeah, I think it was a bit of a high foot there, even though a genuine attempt for the ball. The biggest disappointment was the manner of that defeat. To go 1-0 up and then concede three goals. We lack the fight. And it's good to see that return to the boys today. And a good start. As Neil Richo Richmond flicks Albie's it through. Here. Albie Keefe's got the ball Waiting on the left-hand side. To approach the box Goes Hatton. to Harry Honesty. Harry takes a touch. Across the goal. Is anyone oh. there? Oh! Ryan Adams doing what he does best. Getting in those positions. Goal scoring position. It's going to be a corner to hashtag Matt. Great play there. Great play. Uh, really good link up play down the left. I think that's where we're going to look to get Harry Honesty in his, the game as much as possible. Uh, you can see how dangerous he's looking so far. They're definitely looking to try and double up on him, which a lot of teams are doing now. But the more we can get him and Ryan on the ball, the more effective we will be throughout this game. Jack Harrison will be forward. I tell you what, you cannot give Tom Willow, Tom Willow Williams too many bites of the cherry. The man has got 
quality in that left boot of his. And this, I'm going to tell you now, as a left boot player who used to take corners for this club, when you've got a corner in swinging and the wind is with you, it's a very luxurious position to be. He'll look to whip this one in. The keeper will be terrified. Can we just get a flick on it? Here it comes, exactly as I predicted. It's a flick in! And oh, oh my God, God, it fell right on the head of Ricky Evans. I'm telling you, if we can get corners over on that right-hand side, we're going to cause mayhem. That is three or four headers now with one in the box from corners and this one as well it doesn't test the keeper that's the problem it's not just we're not scoring they're off target Matt yeah I mean Rick will be disappointed with that I think it, that's, an, that's an easier chance to score than miss I think as Rookie Evans gets the ball in centre midfield loops it forward towards Neil Richo Richmond can that's he get on the end of the tell you what he might that's a penalty, that's ref. A penalty. it's got to be a penalty he's yes. given it it's a penalty to hashtag it's a penalty to hashtag the ball was looped forward Richo got his body in front of it Forced the defender to clip his heels. We have a penalty to hashtag United. Massive moment. Here we go, guys. This is a penalty. If we score this, you've all got to retweet this stream and say hashtag goal. Harry Honesty over the oh, ball. That is the oh, deal. Get ready to retweet it. Come on, Harry. The left foot of Harry Honesty winds up. He slots it. It's yes, into the bottom corner. It's 1-0 to hashtag United. Harry Honesty celebrates with a Jesse Lingard-esque moonwalk in the crown corner. And the hashtag ultras are going absolutely mental. Clinical, composed, it's 1-0 hashtag. Matt, what do, you, what do you think of that penalty? It's a great penalty to be fair. He slotted it nicely in the corner. Goalkeeper's got no chance. You don't save them, I'm afraid. It was a great team play there, as you said. Ricky Evans clipped it forward. Richo Richmond does what he does best, positioning. Diligently held him off. He knew what that meant. The inside defender had no choice but to bring him down. And Harry Honesty's converted the penalty in clinical fashion. And what a celebration. Here it comes, Tom Williams with the ball in. He's beating another man. He's in the penalty spot. Just needs to fall for a yellow shirt, which he hasn't. Simon Petty tries to knock it wide to Jack. Two defenders out of position now. Albie Keefe's dropping in to win it back. Here, Jack Harrison has now got the ball on the edge of the box. Whips it in towards ball, Harry Honesty. The flag stayed down. It's a massive tackle, and he's given a corner. Massive appeal for another penalty from the fans behind the goal. They cannot believe he hasn't given it. And the referee signalling for Stevie CB is going to get his first action of the day. Running out there. Two bags in hand for Stevie CB. Harry Honesty stayed on the ground. Let's hope he's not hurt. We've got Ricky Evans is literally pleading with the referee for something else there. Corner for Ensign to be taken by that 23 John Willard with his white boots. It's a very good delivery again. Jacko punches it. Ricky Evans on the edge of the box loops a left footed clearance free. Harry Honesty's the furthest man forward who looks to me, Matt, to a run off his injury. Yeah, he looks like he's running a lot smoother now. Oh, he's won the ball back. Can Ross Clee capitalise? Yes, through. Ross Clee's through on goal. Composure, Rossi boy. Yes, get it. It's 2 0. Hashtag United. Come on. Harry Honesty looks fine to me. He's won the ball back. Ross Cleed has put in, he's gone through, and Ross Cleed one on one with the goalkeeper. The left back comes centre midfielder, comes centre forward, slots it home inside the right post, and that is 2 0. Hashtag United, Matt. Yeah, great stuff from Harry, honestly. Putting the pressure on there. Ross Cleed's latched onto the loose ball. Great composed finish there from Gleedy. He'll be buzzing with that, I know that. I'll tell you who else is buzzing about that. I am absolutely seen here at Coles Park. The fans are absolutely loving this one. Get that comment going. Hashtag have been the better team. White Ensign have been in it. Undoubtedly, they've had a few chances. But hashtag, for once, are capitalising on their dominance. 2 nil up as Richo plays the ball out towards Harry Honesty, who's definitely shrugged off that injury now. He's giving some absolute terror Skins to their him. right back. Plays the ball in. It's going to be 3 yes! nil. Yes, it is 3 nil. It's Richo. Richo Richmond. Harry Honesty, the man of a matter of minutes ago, was down and out. Looked like he was going to be subbed off, injured. He skinned the right back, put the ball in low and hard. And that is 3-0, a striker's finish from top goal scorer Neil Richo Richmond, who gets his 17th goal of the campaign, Matt. Yeah, what a ball that is from Harry Honesty. Um, does what he does best, beats the full back down the left, whips in a great ball, low and hard, into the, into the corridor of uncertainty. Uh, defender's nightmare. Um, and then Richo just slots it home. Yeah, definitely take the pressure off here, get as far down the pitch as possible, waste as much time. Oh, he, he has gone shorter here. Uh, that's the half. Right, that is the half-time whistle, Matt. How do you sum up that first half? Yeah, great performance from the boys. I think Ensign have had nothing so far to report. I mean, a few half chances at the end there, to be fair, but definitely been on top. We've been able to capitalise on the numerous chances we've had. Um, the conversion rate, like we spoke about right at the start of the game, uh, we need to improve on. But, yeah, great performance from the boys, and we'll be looking to continue it in the second half. 
devs will be absolutely delighted with not just the, the scoreline, but the nature of the performance thus far. It's been fantastic, and I'm sure he'll be reminding the boys of that. There's still a long way to go in this game, though, yeah. A team like Ensign cannot be written off. Let's get into devs and see what he's got to say. It's been really good, but it is only half time. We've had some warnings, some of it from our own doing. The keeper, he can go big, he strikes it at a distance, and that's into a, into a bit of a wind. It's going to, he, he will be able to sell from, from right to left, left to right, whatever. And you've already been caught out on one where he switched to play. I need you to get your feet moving. You're getting caught out a little bit, and it's unlike you, but you're turning your back, and I need you to get back in, in, into your, the ways that I expect of you and I know from you. We've, we've ended up with two bookings, and them getting in on chances because of either us switching off as the, as the, on the second ball and almost watching and then reacting too late when they punch it back in or expecting something to happen that doesn't happen. So I look at your booking and I think you're expecting and I think, I think you'd be disappointed you haven't won the header and I think you're almost thinking he's won the header and then when he doesn't, you haven't stretched. No, but that's what I'm saying. But I think if you're in your mind is he might lose this, I think your start position drops slightly a little bit and you deal with it. Yeah? Let's be confident in us defensively. When we've had to give corners away, we've defended them brilliantly. When we've had to give throw-ins away, we've defended them brilliantly. But we know they'll chase things and they're going to chase things even more now, particularly for the first 15, 20 minutes of this half. The first 15, 20 minutes of this half are absolutely key to us. It's about, because if we do it right, more opportunities will come our way. And I look at the goal we scored, I look at the second goal we've scored, and that comes from pressure. It comes from putting him under and then a magnificent run and finish. We've seen how bright he's been when it's gone forward and he gets goal side of them, they're in trouble. And that'll keep him, because it'll hang up this half. Listen, please. I don't want to be coming in here at the end of this 90 minutes with anything to criticise about us. Anything. All right, I want a clean sheet from this game. What ends on a no mugs? There's a reason why they're third in the table and they've got some games in hand as well, let me tell you. The wind is blowing. The rain is now coming down. It's a grisly day. This is when you earn titles. This is what you do to grind out results. We're 3-0 up, but we don't want to be complacent. Matt, here we go. Ross Gleed pumps it deep into the White Ensign half. We've got a lead to defend. I'm sure Devs will have uh, been trying to encourage a professional performance here as Albi Kiefer gets the ball out wide. Oh, and Albi Kiefer stayed down there. He's holding his left ankle. That looked like a painful one. He's wriggling around on the floor, Matt. Yeah, I mean, that didn't look too such a good tackle there. I think I think the, the player will be lucky to get away with a booking after that tackle. Chance there for them. What at the back post there? I missed that one, Matt. What happened? Yeah. Uh, so the ball got delivered in. Free man at the back post. Um, we're lucky to get away with that, I think. Referee has indicated a substitution is happening here. I think Lee Hurst is going to be entering the pitch. Looks like it'll be Harry Honesty who's not going to be risked anymore. Harry Honesty did take a big knock in the first half. Got a lot of great players in the centre midfield position now. So competition for places is a premium. Ricky Evans wins the ball back for hashtag. Oh, he does it twice big in a tackle, row. And I'll tell you what, the referee, Rick, yeah. the referee has given a foul there. Ricky Evans has dived in. I believe he's won the ball. Ricky needs to be careful here because he often gets himself in the book. I'll tell you what, he might be trying to whip this in the near post. The keeper's a long way towards his back stick here. Yeah, they don't seem to have anyone covering the front post. This so. is going to be a low-driven one, I reckon. There it is. Low-driven ball right into the box. Out as far as Lee Hersey. He picks it up. Can he go wide for Willow again? Out on the right now, Willow. We'll look to cut inside to that left foot almost certainly. Oh, he's proved me wrong. He's gone down the end. Whips in with the right foot. What do I know? <laughs> All the way through towards Simon Petty at the back post. And that is cleared through. He'll be looking for another one here. We've created chances from his deliveries thus far. But the boys haven't been able to convert. We are 3-0 up. A fourth would be much appreciated. The ball goes all the way through. Nearly caught someone there, Matt. Yeah, another great ball from Willow there. The Ensign don't seem to cover their front post very well from the uh, from free kicks uh, from wide areas. They're not covering off that front post position, which, of course, is the, the main position to cover, which I'd say. So, um, yeah, another great ball from Willow there. Unfortunate not to get a goal there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, best yeah I mean, passing is probably one of my best attributes in, in real life. So it's definitely definitely a great reflection. Um, I know my penalties is probably one of my worst ones, which I totally agree with. <laughs> I don't, don't think I've ever actually scored a penalty in my uh, life. Ricky Evans so. has just found Neil Richard Richmond. Oh, Ooh. he nearly found the top corner. That is phenomenal. 
And long shots is actually a good stat for Ricky Evans, but it was a long shot from Neil Richmond once he got the ball from Evans there. Yeah, great little turn on the edge of the box from Richo. And another great attempt, just, just missing the target. Jacko kneeling down, looking like a wicketkeeper, ready to monitor this ball as it comes in. It's going to get a bit of extra. He's had a shot! Oh, and it was, tell you what, I thought it was on. I didn't I think know. he'd go for it, but Jacko had to really, really nimbly get down and save that one, man. Yeah, Jacko seemed to leave quite a big gap there at his near post. Um, I think it, was, it wasn't too troubling. He managed to get across quite quickly, but... Much different tempo here in the second half thus far. As Ricky Evans, though, has done brilliantly and unleashed Richo down the right-hand side, who will probably hold this up. Got two men on him now, and he's held it up, and surely has such professional work from Richo. He forced two men over to him, got his body in the way, held off the defenders and forced a foul. Ricky Evans comes over for a very well-earned drink as we're going to see Hashtag United's second substitution of the game. It looks as though Ryan Adams, who has worked absolutely tirelessly all game, is going to make way for another Richmond. This one, Tashan Richmond, who's done very well this season since joining the team. has got a number of goals and assists. Right, Tom Williams will now look to whip this one in from the far right-hand side. Is he's going into the win now. He's hit it up to Looper towards the front post. Flicks on! Tasha and Richmond nearly got a goal with his first touch of the game. He's won, got to be nearly double digits of corners for Hashtag United now. Now, this is a very different proposition now, Matt. Where it, yeah, it can become problematic when trying to beat the first man, but, you know, obviously Willow is more than capable of doing this. Hopefully he can put another great delivery in. A man with over 100 caps in the championship has put... Oh, what a ball that is towards the back stick. The keepers have to come. It's all the way to the edge of the box. Ricky Evans is going to take a touch. A little bit of a heavy touch, it must be said. And he wanted it that first time, Ricky Evans. He, he thought twice on it, and that allowed the inside man to close him down. It's the number 11, Dom Locke, their top goal scorer, who's gone and got the ball for them. He's now taken. Ricky Evans wins the flick towards Tashan Richmond, who flicks it against himself, trying to unlock Richo Richmond. No, uh, Neil Richo Richmond, I should say. Two Richmonds on the pitch now. Albie Keith, can he hold this up? Albie Keith... Not been in the game as much since he got knocked, but he's done well to beat his man there. Great, Great ball, ball there. through. Tasha Richmond, here. can he be composed? He's got the ball on the right-hand side. Can he cut it back for somebody? Well defended by Ensign there. And he's won another corner of a hashtag, Matt. Yeah, like you said, Alba hasn't been in the game as much as he'd like to be, I think. But uh, great play there. Uh, great ball through. I think Tash maybe took a little bit too long to make his mind up there. Uh, but yeah, promising. And another Willow corner to come. Which is what makes him such a great player for us. But we need to make sure we can control that now. We don't want to lose him. We don't need 10 men at this point in the game. Oh, in lovely here. ball. Lovely Albie ball. Keith could be through here. Hashtag. Locks in by Lee Hurst. It's a looping cross to the back stick. Tasha and Richmond's brought it down. Out towards Neil Richo Richmond. And it's Lee Hurst. He has a shot on his right foot and it's, it's looping wide. Bad. And that's got a deflection, I think, Matt. It's going to be a corner. Yeah, it's another corner. I think we must be touching about 12 or 13 corners in this game. Um, looking again to have a, another great delivery. Uh, not a bad effort from Lee there with his right foot. Performance to see out the game, really suck the life out of this and not allow Ensign any chance to get back into this game. Very good to see the game manager at this sort of level. And I think, or oh, there's a chance here for Ensign, dancing on the edge of the box. Can he get a shot away? He has got a shot away. Jacko forced into making a two-handed save. Tips over the bar. That will be a goal kick to, uh, corner kick, I should say, to what Ensign. Who hit that one, Matt, do you uh, see? Yeah, that was Dom Locke. Just as I was saying, we've, we've done really well to shut him out. He's actually created a nice chance for himself in the edge of the area. Great left-footed strike, uh, but Jacko dealt with it quite comfortably there, I'd say. And that is going to be the opportunity the Devs needs to make our third and final change. It will be the enigma, I'm calling him, Daniel Adji, who is going to join the field here. We wait to see who it's going to be replacing. It's going to be for Richo. Dan Adji is a danger constantly, a physical man. Will look to get himself amongst them, find some opportunities. Willow crosses the ball in towards Dan Adji, headed out by White Ensign. Lee Hursett will look to win this back for us here. Trying to get the ball off Dom Locke, and it has been successfully won back by a tag team of Lee Hursett and Simon Petty. And Lee Hursett has just hashtagged it on Dom Locke. He's been taken well by Dom Locke, which is good to see. A bit of banter, sportsmanship, gamesmanship, you could say. I don't think you can get booked for hashtagging it. Um, I reckon Dom Locke must have said something to get that out of Lee Hurst. But either way, I look forward to seeing that back in the video. Well, we said it was one of the biggest games in Hashtag's history today. It could be one of the best performances in Hashtag's history. Not just because of the scoreline, but because of the manner of the victory. The intensity and the work rate shown from first minute to the last. And that is the last minute. 90 minutes is finished here. Hashtag United have won this game 3-0 and return to the top 
of the table. You got a man of the match for us, Matt. Yeah, so I think it was close between two players today. Um, obviously, Harry had a great performance when he was on. Uh, but I think, you know, of course, he, he went off quite early in the second half. Um, I think Richo is, is my man of the match today. Um, obviously, winning the penalty, um, converting a chance himself. I think it was a massive asset for us in the second half. Uh, holding the ball up well, bringing other players into the game, winning fouls up, up in their half. So I'm going to give it to Neil Richo Richmond today. Neil Richo Richmond, your man of the match. He's now on 17 goals in all competitions. Got himself that great striker's finish for the third. I'll be looking forward to hearing Devs' final word. That's all from myself, Seb and Matt here. Let's head down to the changing room to hear Devs' final team talk. I'm really pleased. And I'm really pleased because it was only a big game today if, if we didn't win it. So we've got such a long way to go and so much work to do that but we knew the importance of today in terms of if we didn't win it. So that's brilliant, but we, we, we don't get carried away. What we've done today is we've played the way we know we're capable of playing. And I am every bit, probably more so, pleased with that second half because we controlled the game and that, that, that shows me that we're getting a better understanding of, of, of what's required. Well done. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done. Harry, an unbelievable win for Hashtag in terms of the title race, in terms of morale. How was it? Unbelievable. That's the exact word I would use. I think we played amazing, especially in the first half. We was all over them. I think everybody knew what we wanted to do and we literally just went out there to do it. Gleedy, have you always backed yourself in front of a goal like that? Always. Always. I would take any opportunity, especially with this man closing down like he did. I got fortunate enough to nick it in front of him and tucked it away. To be fair, I'm going to give it to him. I think he did well with the one-on-one. -on -one. He sent the keeper the wrong way as well. It was a great finish. Incredible. Thanks, boys. And this is where the video is going to come to an end, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. And this is where Hashtag United are currently sitting in the league. We are back at the top where we belong. And as you can see here, everyone was loving the giveaway. Remember, you can be a part of this if you come to our next huge game a week on Saturday versus another title rival, Mayhem Baker. We'd love to see you there. However, the next game we have is actually going to be a friendly. We're going up against AFC Horn Church, and I'm looking forward to it. Where's you looking forward to it? I think he's looking forward to it. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget the hashtag it.